Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Grid Trek. I got Milo here, my little helper. Um, I'm just gonna do a really quick video because we have rain just starting to come down on us and looks like we have snow coming being it's May long weekend here in, El in Calgary, Alberta. But uh, what I'm gonna just do a comparison of, we've got our 120 watt power film solar blanket, that's the tan one right here, and then our 120 watt uh, Off Grid Trek solar blanket. I'm just gonna show them, this is them folded up, so there's not a giant difference in size. Uh, the main difference I guess would be um, you're about a pound and a half difference approximately. This, I can't remember if it's 6.2 or 6.5 pounds. And our solar blanket is, uh, this guy is 7.9 pounds. So it's about a pound and a half difference. But the big difference is when they're laid out. So I'm gonna show that, then I'm gonna connect them to an EcoFlow River Max, just to show you the difference in the, uh, the charging capabilities with theirs compared to ours. So let me put this guy out here first. So now power film, Excellent, excellent product. Uh, they use an amorphous type cell, which allows them to work extremely well in low light conditions. So let me just plug it in here, and I'll just talk about that here in a second. So uh, the bonus to the amorphous type cells, they're a lower efficiency rating, so that's why they have to have a much larger physical footprint than what our solar blanket is at. And you'll see that when I do put that, uh, that, put that down. But um, they're designed to work extremely well in low light conditions. Our solar blanket uses the SunPower Gen 2 solar cells with a true 23.5% efficiency rating. So basically what that translates to is ours works very well in low light conditions as well. So here, let me just take a look and then I'll set it down. So to give you an idea, there's the power film plugged in. We've got 20 watts going in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug it here. And then I'm going to plug in our off-grid Trek solar blanket just to show you the difference. So let me do that. And then you can see the physical uh, footprint difference as well too. Oh, and just to mention real quick here, I'll show you guys. With all of our solar blankets, including our 120 watt, our 200 and our 215, we have the, uh, the standard Anderson SB connector here. Bonus to using these are you cannot reverse polarity. There's only one way to put them in. As well as these, you can easily get dirt. You can, uh, you can get moisture in it. They're still gonna work. I've stepped on them, they still work. Uh, we have our quick charge, which is right here, which offers two high-speed USB charging ports, one on either side, and then a USB Type-C PD. So basically what that means is any of the newer laptops, MacBook Pros, iPhones, any of those devices, even the new Android phones, they all charge from USB Type-C. It's just a faster way of charging. Here, let me lay it out. And we will see the difference here. So that is your physical footprint difference. So let me just plug it in and I'll just talk about it here a little bit. So basically to compare these, I'll, I'll move it around in a moment here, but ours is basically uh, almost four times smaller than the Powerfilm solar blanket. And not only that, um, Ours, I, actually I should mention based on the weather here, ours is fully waterproof, theirs is water resistant, which is actually quite important to know. But let's see what we have for readings here. And there we go. Ours is actually producing more, uh, better readings. We are approximately four more watts going in. So we've got, I'll just set that down so it's not bouncing around. We've got 24 watts going in, whereas we saw 20 watts going in with the power film. And that's with the same low light conditions. I don't know if you can pan up over here and just show that's what we got. We've got rain coming in. But yeah, just wanted to say guys and show, you, show everybody this. If you have any questions, I'm the owner of the company. My name is Rennie. I just, like I said, I just wanted to get this video out before we have our rain or our snow coming this weekend. We've got several packages available. Uh, anything from the smaller uh, solar generator here to a larger generator that can power, let's say a tiny home or an off-grid uh, cabin scenario. If there's anything that you're looking for that you don't uh, actually see in our website, or if you have any specific questions, just don't hesitate. Give a call. I'm usually the one that answers a phone, and I'd be happy to answer your questions for you. Either way, have a great weekend, guys. Enjoy, and uh, hopefully you're warmer and drier than what we are. Bye then.